This is the zoomed out version of the Prairie Schooler Alphabet, stitched two over two on a beautiful 36 count linen. And I have been madly working on this when I can. Life's been a bit disrupted with, mostly with school meetings. My kids are grade nine and grade 11, and I don't know, I seem to spend a day a week at a meeting in the evenings, which is a lot of my stitching time gone, so I'm not too happy about that. But anyway, that's what happens when you have kids. So, as you can see, I have finished this row here, except for the mermaid. I've come back to her. Um, so since I last did an update, I finished P's for parrot, Q is for quilting, and R is for rabbit. The rabbit is probably my favourite block. I'll zoom on that in a moment. So at the moment, I'm stitching on this mermaid and as I told you I was just reconfiguring her and I'm happier with the shape of her face and her forehead and so I just have to fill it in and that block will be done. So I'm really happy with this gorgeous parrot. It's so cute. It came up really really well and um, I actually really like this little crown in here. It's probably a flower but it looks like a crown to me. Q is for quilting. It probably is a bit plain for me but um, some people just seem to love it when they see this piece and think, oh, that's a really stunning block, but it is probably not my favourite. And then I've been stitching, oh, it's for rabbit. I love, love, love this turnip. But it's so cute. So that's working out really, really well. I'm hoping life quietens down a bit and I can get back onto stitching it um, more consistently in the evenings. Over the last two weeks, it's been completely disrupted and I've barely worked on this at all, which has been annoying me because I'd really like to have it finished by the end of the year. I'm probably wishing too much, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. No pressure. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing this progress. I'm very pleased with how it's going. This is Mini Allison Snow White by Heaven and Earth Design. And uh, as you can tell, it's going beautifully. I'm very pleased with it. I have stitched um, page five and page six, so I'm delighted. It does, it is warped a little bit, and that's because I'm tent stitching. And, um, but I'll get it framed professionally, so they'll be able to stretch it back into shape. This is 16 pages. I've got another page to do here and then a little half page on that side. So all up I've got another 10 pages but three of them are half pages on this side so um, I'm hoping I'll have it finished in 12 months. I'll try and work on it in the afternoons. This is stitch 2 over 1 tent stitching. Uh, it's a magic guide even weave which is a 25 count and I love stitching on that fabric. The holes are really easy to see and I think that's fabulous. I've made a friend out of it which is awesome who's also stitching it and she funnily enough lives in my city. Hi Sarah if you're watching this. It's lovely we live so close to each other. We can support each other with our progress. I hope we get a bit more of it done today. So I'm very pleased with how this is going. This is a mini heaven and earth design. It's treasure hunt bookshelf, fox to dragon. And this is the top left corner of the pattern. And you can see it's beautiful moon. Um, and this, this is a book. This is the edge of a book. Um, this is also a magic guide even weave, which is 25 count, two over one tent stitching. And I'm just working on this every now and then whenever I feel in the mood, I'm a bit sick of minis. Alice and Snow White. I just work on this one. I'm really pleased with its progress. Probably since I last showed you, I've probably done this column here. Um, and so that's lots of fun. I guess my main progress and focus piece is the Prairie Schooler alphabet. But in the afternoons, I, if I have a moment, I will try and stitch on my Heaven and Earth Design Mini Alice and Snow White. Um, I'm doing a couple of gifts and I have been working on them as well as working on the Hope Christmas ornament that I showed you last week with the sheep. I can't show you that because I've got it in my car and unfortunately today I'm driving my husband's car so it's at my husband's work. So I'm, obviously I'm not working on that today am I? Um, so overall I'm still loving my stitching and trying to get as much done as I can in a day 
in the evenings or late afternoon if I have an opportunity and I'm still totally obsessed about it and always planning my new or next project. So here is a little freebie design I've been stitching on recently. I did start it in the Ultimate Crazy January Challenge where you started a new stitch every day and this was one of them and it's a freebie design from, from Martina Rosenberg the Chatelaine woman and it posted on her original website. I'm not sure if it's still there. I haven't looked at her new website, but it's really sweet, isn't it? And so I hope to progress a bit more on it and um, try and get it finished by the end of the year. We'll see how we go. So I have bought some new stash. I've decided I'd like to do some more Christmas ornaments and make some Christmas gifts for people. So let me show you my new stash. Dash. So this is a little train ornament. My five-year-old absolutely adores trains and I haven't, haven't made him a Christmas tree ornament yet. I do like to have them in progress and this is a Mill Hill bead kit. I've basically bought five Mill Hill bead kits and so I'm just going to show you those. I'm going to take them with me. I'm going to go away to the sun in September, October for two weeks. So I'm going to take it with me then. This is one I bought myself. Isn't that adorable? There's something about flamingos that I absolutely love. Um, I thought about making this for some, well, for at least one of the teachers that helps my daughter, um, who's her violin teacher. I thought that would be really sweet. Um, this is another cute, cute orny. It's a beautiful penguin called Proud Penguin. Another Mill Hill bead kit. I thought that one's really, this one's really sweet as well. It's a little Scotty dog. Finally, this is Celtic Santa. And I won't actually say who I'm making any of these for because if they happen to watch my video, then I've just completely ruined it, haven't I? I just found today on the website Brooks Books Publishing and she's got these gorgeous beaded um, kits. So these kits, um, the st you stitch on perforated paper and you cut around them and then you can add some 3D to them with beads or thread. I've even seen them with other smaller perforated paper pieces attached on surface to give a really good 3D effect. So um, This one's called Scotland Santa. Um, my daughter does Highland dancing so I bought it because of the Scottish connection. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my update. Apologise for it being so long. I'm trying not to let it get so long between videos next time. Um, I trust everything's going well and that you're having a really great stitching um, month or two. Um, I still love your videos and watch them, even if I'm not posting much. But I thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.